Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is this European Championship group stage confrontation. It's Portugal versus France. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. This is the lineup for the home team. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. This is how the visitors will set up today. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Benjamin Pavard plays with Luca Digne in the fullback positions. Ngoro Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the contest begins. A chance to whip it in. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. So a throw in here. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era. And you'd have to suspect... Joao Felix! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and the ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Ronato Sanchez with it now. Chance for Ronaldo Silva. They might regret that miss. They ought to be two up. Well, they've done so much work to get one goal ahead. Two goals ahead was there on a plate, and he's fluffed his lines. Thomas Lemar. Now there to intercept. Opportunity in the wide area. Chances on. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal.
They might be able to get in now. Griezmann. Had to come up with the ball and did. Vignadere! And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! Well, it doesn't matter whether you score after 26 passes or skip the midfield and hit it long. They all count the same, Derek. They were unable to deal with the initial ball and they've been punished. performance in this particular game would have impressed many people Lee well he played well scored a goal what a good performance from him